Hello and welcome to Factive, your home for knowledge in five minutes or less. My name is Sean. So sit back, relax, grab a coffee, because today you're going to learn about fluidization. If you've never heard of Brandon Sanderson and you're a fan of Imagine It's a Fantasy books, I totally recommend you check him out. In his latest book, Tress of the Emerald Sea, the world building centers around a very real, very interesting scientific phenomenon known as fluidization. Fluidization occurs when a liquid or gas flows up through a granular material, such as sand or powder, and the solid material enters a fluid-like state. The best known example of this process would be quicksand, where groundwater passing through a sand pit turns the sand into a fluidized death trap. When the gas or liquid moves up through the granular material, it fills the spaces between particles, and two things happen. The aerodynamic drag on the particles forces them up and away from each other, while the gravity pulls the particles downward. When these forces are balanced, the particles become suspended and they flow inside their container like water molecules. And like the water, buoyancy forces dictate whether the objects float or sink in the fluidized material, so it would be possible to sail upon a sand ocean given the right circumstances. Fluidization has many applications, especially in chemical manufacturing. A fluidized material has excellent transportability and heat transfer properties compared to its solid state. So the next time you find yourself caught in quicksand, take a moment to appreciate the physics behind this genuinely fascinating phenomenon. Well, that's the end of today's video. For some deeper dives into this topic, see the links in the description below. And also, leave a like and a comment about what fact of topics you'd like me to cover. Until next time, have a good one.